Samsung Galaxy S20. Do we really need this phone? Do I really need this phone? I'm a YouTuber, I'm a vlogger, I'm a blogger guys, I'm doing different stuff with phones and I'm making films. In this video, this is exactly what I'm going to discuss. Do I really need Samsung Galaxy S20? And I will be comparing this phone to Samsung Galaxy S8 which I'm using. And by the way guys, this is the phone which I was making my videos as you remember from my previous videos and I was telling if you will guess what phone I'm using. So this is Samsung S8 and you could get $50 just by guessing what phone I'm using for making my videos on this channel. So this is Samsung Galaxy S8. Today we will be comparing Samsung Galaxy S20 to this phone and to this smartphone and I will tell you why I don't really need Samsung Galaxy S20. I'm not saying that Samsung Galaxy S20 is bad phone. What I'm trying to say in this video that it is too fast guys. We don't need that technology which is in Samsung Galaxy s20 just because it is much better because guys we don't have other technology around this phone samsung galaxy s20 to make it useful if you think about ferrari would you buy a ferrari if you would be living somewhere in country where is no asphalted roads where you can't really use the potential of that ferrari or porsche bugatti Viron, for example you wouldn't buy that car if you would be living in countryside am i right guys so here is the same situation we have samsung galaxy s20 it has arrived and as think that its technology is a little bit too fast for the time we are living in because other technology is not there yet. Let's start with 5G. Who needs 5G? As you can see there is that 5G built in. There is also 4G. Don't understand me wrong. I know I know these guys that these all phones Samsung Galaxies they come in two versions like S20, S20 Plus and S20 Ultra and 5G and S20 Ultra is all only in 5G. So why would we need 5G if there maybe in 20% of around the world there is implemented 5G? All the other countries all around the world they still don't have 5G. As here in Ireland we still don't use 5G. We are on 4G networks guys. So this is the first concern and first thing why I wouldn't buy and why I'm not actually buying at this stage Samsung Galaxy S20. It's not that I can't afford this phone I can afford the Samsung Galaxy S20 but I will not buy it just because of couple of things which I'm going to talk about in this video that is my first concern second thing is cameras guys you might say good this phone has very good cameras but if you think about photographies Samsung Galaxy S8 is great for photographies it is more than enough and it makes a great photographies if you are a professional photographer you would never use your mobile phone for making photographies you would be using some DSLRs or professional cameras for making photographies so this is not the case to make a professional looking photographies by using Samsung Galaxy S20 S20 Plus or S20 Ultra guys because you wouldn't use that phone for that purpose so Samsung Galaxy S8 is more than enough for good photography making. There is also a night vision built in already in Samsung Galaxy S20 but that is still not built into Samsung Galaxy S8. However I have been using my Samsung Galaxy S8 already for a while and I never really needed a night vision and in the evening times for example if you would be filming in some streets where is lights it is still very good camera to make photos and there is no problem at all. And ask yourself your a question guys why would you pay this huge price for Samsung Galaxy S20 and ask yourself a question how many times out of all times whenever you are filming you need night vision this would make your photos and videos look a little bit better only if you would be filming at night that is another huge concern for me third thing is screen guys Yes, Samsung Galaxy S20 has a good screen, it has 120Hz screen, where Samsung Galaxy S8 has only 60Hz screen. But most of you, I would say that 90% of you guys who are watching this video, you are not a gamers. And Hz is only for gaming. It, it would give you a greater detail, which I wouldn't even see, guys. That is another thing about screens that I have never use my phone. Let's start with watching movies or watching videos or even YouTube. I'm using my my big screens which I'm using right now. These are my double screens which I'm using for watching something if I would want or for example even if I would be playing games I would be using my desktop or PC screens. I would never use my phone for this purpose. That's why that's not needed as well for me. And for making calls you know yourself guys that there is not a big difference. We are already good with these 4G and we are good with Samsung Galaxy S8 would do everything what you are 
already need and that is working very fast and very fine however all these Samsung the Galaxy S8, S20 and S20 Ultra they have huger processors and those processors are needed there only for gaming however if, if any of you or and, and I believe that many gamers would also be watching this video who have been using Samsung Galaxy S8 you know that this phone is more than enough for gaming and you wouldn't overpay for Samsung Galaxy S20 just because they have a greater screen and they have placed in Samsung Galaxy S20 a little bit more powerful processor than is in Samsung Galaxy S8 guys. You wouldn't overpay for, let's say there is a price difference now currently bet between Samsung Galaxy S8 and Samsung Galaxy S20 about $600 guys or six or $700 that's a price difference. So I would still go with Samsung Galaxy S8. Another thing about video making 8K. Many of you would watch an ad and you would see all these huge YouTubers who are saying oh Samsung Galaxy S20 it has 8K video filming. But guys have you ever been editing videos and do you know how much processing power you need to edit 8K videos? Even for editing 4K videos and uh, many YouTubers or people who are editing videos actually you will understand now what I'm talking about. Even for editing 4K videos you need a huge processing power and many video editing softwares which are out there guys they don't support even K video editing. So this is also technology a little bit too fast for circumstances we live in because we don't have even computing power obviously professional IT guys who are working on it professionally they, they will have that computing power but most of us 90% guys uh, we wouldn't have such a computing power and software to be able to edit without lagging 8k videos that is another huge concern about the Samsung Galaxy S20 and that's another concern I don't really need it and if talking about Samsung Galaxy S8 4k videos easily I can make any 4k videos or 2k videos I can make full HD videos. Samsung Galaxy S8, S8 is more than enough. I have been making most of my videos on this channel by using this phone. And I will leave in first comment of this video guys if you are interested to watch a quality of Samsung Galaxy S8 video. Watch and you will see that there is not a big difference. However most of the time when I am making videos by using Samsung Galaxy S8 I am using full HD only. I don't use even 2K or 4K filming because I don't need it. It slows down my video editing process whenever I am editing my videos. So as full HD is more than enough quality, full HD like this is like 1080p 30 frames per second is more than enough for video filming and by using Samsung Galaxy S8. So guys that's my thoughts about Samsung Galaxy S20 and why I don't need this phone at this stage guys because most of these features which are built in in this phone they are simply not needed they are not for me at this stage and at this time I'm not a professional photographer and if I would be a professional photographer I would use DSLR I wouldn't use my phone for making f images or pictures if you are into making images for example I'm not ma into making images and I use mainly my phone for making videos guys whenever I go if you talk about water resistance this has pretty much the same water resistance as Samsung Galaxy S20 so there is also not a big difference between these phones if you are talking about design the Samsung Galaxy S8 also looks almost the same as Samsung Galaxy S20 and you wouldn't spot really a difference only in camera if you would be looking from the backside of that phone and talking about all the other things I, I don't really need them because mostly what I'm using my phone for is making videos for my YouTube for making calls I'm not even playing games or watching anything if I'm watching something like for example Instagram or visiting any other social networks this phone is more than enough I wouldn't even spot a difference if their quality of the screen or visual quality would be better that's my opinion guys let me know what is your opinion would you buy Samsung Galaxy S20 at this stage S20 S20 plus or S20 Ultra 5G let me know in comments who do would you need that phone or Samsung Galaxy S8 is more than enough for all your needs let me know in comments guys and if you found this video useful if you found it interesting let me know your thoughts in comments and if you are not subscribed subscribe to my channel and see you in the next one